Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to put together the swinging boat card. This is part of my new Fun at the Fair collection. So on Tuesday I shared the swinging chairs. Today I'm sharing the swinging boat and on Saturday I'll be sharing the Ferris wheel. So I'll show you how these work. So it all folds flat. So you'll fit, see there it'll fit into your envelope and then it has this little piece in the middle here. When that expands the boat will be able to swing between the the stands there you've got your sentiment at the top roll up let's celebrate and then you've got all your characters i've added balloons you've got some heat embossing there you've got this detail this is all in the die set and then on the back you would just die cut another one of these in white and stick it in there and then that's ready for you to pop your message on so that was that colorway then i've got this one here i think this is my favorite one with the blues and this one says wishing you fun times on your birthday again you can see i've got the characters there so on that one i think i've got yeah four on each side and the balloons this one i've got three on each side and the balloons and i think on the back of this one yeah i've got the white piece there so you can write your message and again that opens up and you can see it just swings so nicely it's got a really good movement to it and then i've got this one here this was the one that I made as a demo when I was on Creating Craft. I just ran out of time, didn't get around to popping my sentiment on the top there. But you can also add bits and pieces along the bottom. Again, you can see all the characters. They've got cute little extras there in their hands, the popcorn, the ice cream, the flag. And then you can see on the back there, you've got your space to be able to write your message. So it's very straightforward to put together. So let me show you how. So this is the die set. So you get eight dies and it's your swing boat mechanism die set. So you can see everything you need there. So first of all, I'll talk you through the amounts that you need of each. So here is the main boat die and you'll see you've got this embossed detail. Now what I've done is I've die cut two and stuck them together for the front. And then I've die cut another one because I'm going to stick my characters onto here. And then this one will go on the back and it will just conceal the bottoms of the characters and it just kind of tidies up the back. So two to three, depending on the weight of the cardstock. If you're using a heavy weight, then you'll find two will be enough. But this was a light, this was like a 180 GSM. So I wanted to layer that up. So that's your boat die. Then you've got this one here, which is for the main stand. So I'll bring in these ones here. So you want to die cut two of them and keep them whole. So with this top piece, okay. And then you want to die cut two again, but you're going to snip off the top piece. And then you want to die cut, this is your detail here. So I die cut it in green and in red, but I kept the green outer piece and then I kept use the red triangles to paper piece together. So on this one already, I've stuck, you can see on the back here, the one where it's been cut off, because what's going to happen is, is that's going to fold inside like so. But by having two together again, it just strengthens this. And I've used my Kalau construction glue to secure all this together so it's nice and strong. So in a moment, I'm going to stick this one like so, and then I'll be able to fold that piece over onto the back. OK, again, it's up to you if you do want to layer it up. If you're already using a very heavyweight cardstock, then you might find that the one is enough. But this is the piece that really does need to be strong because it's carrying the weight of the boat. So you certainly don't want that to, to kind of bow. So that's those dies. Then these are for your stand. So you've got your large one and then you've got your layer over the top. So again, here I've got the yellow. So you want one for the front and one for the back. Then in the white, I've cut it. And this one's to go on the front and then I've heat embossed the stars. And that's using the Fun at the Fair A5 stamp sets. This is all your sentiments. So you can see the stars here that I've used. And then I've got a plain white one and that one is going to go on the back and that's where I'll write my message. So that's those dies. Then you've got these ones here, which are for the bars to hold the boat. So you want to die cut two of those. You don't need to layer them up because it literally is just going to kind of dangle from this. So I've got the two in the red. And then this one here is for your stand. You see it's got those embossing lines. I've just die cut that one there. And then I've just stamped my sentiment again from this set here and it's the wishing you fun times on your birthday. I just cut that with one of my own dies. So first of all, I'm going to start with these dies here. So you want to cut them all out, decide on your decoration, and then I'm going to stick this one over the top. And like I said, I've already prepared that one. Next, I want to get the boat and my characters. So I've got them all here, already stamped and coloured. I just coloured these using my coloured pencils. So I'm going to start sticking these down. So all I do is pop a little bit of glue on the bottom of their feet. And I like to just, where they've got the longer arms, just kind of curl them out a little bit. And that way... 
they'll be able to sit over the top there and then we can add all of these bits and pieces afterwards so i'm just going to use my quick grab glue to stick these all down Okay, so that's those stuck down and now I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the end of the hands and just start sticking on their little treats. So that's the characters all stuck down and then what I'll do at the end is I'm going to pop some glossy accents on the eyes just so that they shine and then later on we're going to pop the back on but we need to attach it to this first so you want these pieces next you want to fold the tops in like so and then you want to attach them together and just fold that like so just give that a minute to dry okay next you want to grab these two here and you want to use one of your brads you want a five mil ideally if you've got a bigger one that will be fine but you might not get a really good swing it will still hang but it might not swing as freely so ideally you want the five mil and what i'm going to do is pop the brad through these two here and then you're going to pop it through here flip it over and then i like to use a pokey tool just to split open the brad and then pop it to one side and then bend the brad over the pokey tool and that way you'll get the the split pin lifted off the cardstock and it will allow it to really swing swing well and again on that side and then take that away and you'll see now how they swing and then that can come down you can see it's got room inside there to be able to swing around keep it open keep that one kind of towards you so next you want to pop some glue onto the bottom of those strips and then you want to stick this down you want it to ideally be stuck to the green the or the boat whatever color your boat is so i'm going to stick it like so and now when i flip it over you can see where that's stuck next you want to add glue to the other piece and you can now stick that on the back just to keep everything nice and tidy so now when i hold this up Imagine the base is on there, but you can see your boat swinging through the centre. Next, you want to grab these pieces and you want to add your decoration. So whether you've used pattern paper, you want to get that stuck down. OK, next, the one that you've got for the front, you're going to stick behind this piece. You want to make sure it's in the middle. You can have it on the front if you want. You may have a stamped sentiment here. You might be personalising it another way. It really doesn't matter. Obviously, it's going to cover some of that design, but it still looks good. The back one, you actually do stick over the top. And what I would do is just pop some glue about an inch through that middle bit there and then just stick it behind like so. Just make sure it's in the middle and it's nice and flush with the bottom. And then flip it over and this time I'm adding my glue onto the outside and I'm just going as high as this piece behind. And then just take that piece and just line it up with the other one. Then you want to take your stand and you just want a concertina fold. So you want a mountain, a valley, and then finish with a mountain. So you have that M shape. Next, I'm going to add some glue onto one of the outer sides. And then lift this up. And you want to sit it along the bottom. Just make sure it lines up with that middle piece. And then you know you've got it in the middle. Then add your glue onto the other side and then just close the card up over the top. OK, so now you'll be able to stand your card up and your boat will swing really nicely. And then all that's left is to add my sentiments. I'm just going to pop a blob of glue up there and then stick my wishing you fun times like so. So I've just brought back in the other ones that I shared at the beginning. You'll be able to find photos of all of these over on the blog and also on my Facebook page. I have albums of all of my collections. So if you ever 
you know, maybe just think you pull out a collection from, you know, a year ago, then you can click on my albums and you'll be able to get inspiration there. But I think these are lovely. They're really fun cards and um, I can't wait to start giving these out to friends and family. So as always, thank you for watching today. If you click in the description box below this video, you'll find links to this product and also to all of my other social media platforms if you want to check those out. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.